guys, it's Hank Saber from Saber Selections, and I'd like to say thanks to Joe Grizz for putting this up on his Team Avalanche channel. So, let's give you my X Saber deck from the April 2015 form. Alright, so, start off the list. We got three copies of Double X Saber Dark Soul as your searcher of the deck. Um, I really. The purpose of this deck was to use it like. Almost how uh, Patrick Hoban said to use the Mal Branch from Burning Abyss. Just use it whenever you can on your opponent's turn during your turn. Um, get as many searches off as possible so you can win as soon as possible. So, three copies of the main searcher. Uh, then we run two copies of the Power Play card of the deck. We run two, three copies of Voltrol. Voltrol is a card I explained in my last video from last format. How to unclog him and how to make him a little bit more useful and so that he doesn't clog or hold up your hands or anything like that. So three copies is definitely necessary. Um, three copies of Bogart Knight. Bogart Knight is your caster of the deck. He'll bring a card from your hand and he'll help bring out your full trolls as well. It'll make really good some some good Xyz synchro plays and even though you can't synchro for a non X Saber monster you still can make some pretty good plays with him so I like him. Um, three copies of a card that I really started to play again and like it. Uh, three copies of Double X Saber Emmer's Blade. Emmer's Blade is pretty cool because you can just keep on being aggro with it attacking into monsters and yeah you take damage but you're probably gonna win, um, you know, three turns or less. Or that's the that's really the the uh, focus on this deck, at least. And so you basically go through all three of them, and uh, you burn all three. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up with a Dark Soul, and you're hoping to have a um, a Gom's Emergency Call so you can bring these guys back. Search um, a Dark Soul, uh, sorry, Full Troll with the Dark Soul, and uh, help bring these guys back. So they're all pretty good. Um, then on to the two ofs, we run two copies of Full Helm Knight. Full Helm Knight's good uh, in the grind game when your your opponent starts setting cards just not to take damage. Uh, you can attack over it and special summon the X-Saber from your graveyard and also you can uh, make some nice synchro plays. It's only really level 3 tuner so uh, pretty good and works well with Spell Striker which we'll bring in a little bit. Uh, two copies of X-Saber Pastoral. Pastoral is really good because, yeah, he can't be destroyed by battle, but also he's a pretty good level 2 tuner. I reinforce um, Truth. Yeah. Um, I was looking through my deck. Yeah. He's a, a reinforced Truth target, and uh, two of him. So pretty pretty solid. And then for the last X Saber, we want to run one of X Saber Rajai Gura. Uh, Rajai Gura is good because he brings your uh, full trolls back from your graveyard to your hand, so one of him. So uh, still not done with the monster count, but that's pretty much it for the X Sabers. Um, I, let, I mentioned in my last video how good these guys are. Uh, two Spell Striker and two TG Striker. Uh, spell Strikers and TG Strikers are pretty good. They're both Rota targets. When Spell Strikers are good because you can search them off Rota and then banish the Rota, special them. And uh, you can also start your turn off by specialing these guys if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. So you can start off special this, um, search, um, activate Rota, take out your Spell Striker, special the Spell Striker, and make a quick Naturia Beast, which is shuts down the Necros matchup. So can really stop some of your opponents. And they're both called Strikers. Yeah, they're both Strikers. <laughs> Um, so this is my personal tech for the format, um, Kree Bandit. Now Kree Bandit's a card that I didn't really like at certain po at certain moments in the game, right? But I really like it this format because in in a lot of decks right now because it helps it helps get you through your deck quicker. And in a fast format, I think that's really underrated thing because not only does it send your cards to your graveyard, but it also brings you your spell cards, which is also really good. Um, Kree Bandit will help send your Dark Souls to the graveyard and even though you won't get your Dark Souls effects at the end phase, we have ways to bring them back. So you just want to get your cards in play, you just want to get them out of your deck and a good enough duelist should be able to utilize this card in the best way possible where they can just get the cards out of their deck and then recur them back later on in the duel. So I like Kree Bennett, it's my personal choice for a lot of decks right now, not just X Sabres. So um, just a really techy choice, but it really will work well in, and it has worked well in testing. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, we run quite a bit of monsters, I believe it's like 23, so uh, it's, it's a hefty number, but 
it, it works well. So, 23 of those orange cards, and then three copies of uh, Rhoda, uh, two copies of Fire Formation Tanky. Obviously, like your search cards, your uh, Tanky is for your Bogart Knight, your Red Jigura, and your uh, Rhodas are for your uh, mainly Spell Strikers and uh, TG Strikers. Um, two. Uh, mystical Space Typhoons. Now, the reason I don't run three is because you have the best MST kind of card in your in your extra deck, and that's called Double X Saber High on Lie. And um, it just, yeah, this guy, this girl right here, she's pr kind of pretty. So uh, that's you know you only need two. So and then one copy of the newer card from what is it? Um, I forgot the set name. Oh, it's right here. It's a uh, yeah secret. What is it? Secret Forces, I think? No, it's not the Secret Forces. Secrets of Eternity. So, yeah. Secrets of Eternity. Um, that was pretty, uh, kind of like our only card. It's okay. It's good for, um, especially in back here, full trolls. It's, so, it's kind of good late game when you make like a... Say your opponent has three back row, right? And you, you're you able to make high on lie. And you pop their back row. They're, they have, say, a very small field or no field at all. Um, and you can't quite win the duel yet. So you activate this, you bring back your Fultrals and everything that you already use, all your resources, and you bring them back and try to make an established board and hope to God they don't uh, win next turn because you can't attack that turn that you activate this. So in actuality, this is like a uh, deck's own soul charge. So I kind of like it. So I run one of it. Um, and then we run uh, the also the generic soul charge as well because um, using your Kree Bandits, you have a lot of things in the grave, so soul charge is a necessary card. Um, then we run two copies of Gom's Emergency Call, obviously. Um, then we run three copies of Oasis of Dragon Souls, or I like to call it Oasis of Dark Souls, because you're going to be using this to bring back your Dark Souls. And um, the MST that you, you chain, you you bring back the Dark Soul, the Dark Soul gets destroyed. And if you are not, if you activate this on M, uh, main phase two, it won't miss timing at the end phase, so it should get its effect. So three copies of this, and um, two copies of Call of the Haunted. Um, so again, that's why the Kree Bandit will unclog these cards if they if they're a dead draw early on. Uh, the Kree Bandits will really help with that. Send cards to the grave from the deck to the graveyard, and this is how you get back your Dark Souls. Um, and MST is a card that's being played all over right now. So um, they're gonna bind MST this, and then you just chain get the card back. So two of this, and then one copy of Reinforced Truth. Reinforced Truth is for your Pastrals and your. Uh, TG Strikers to special. Activate this on your opponent's end phase and you'll be alright. So, one of that. Um, it's a pretty good spell trap lineup. Um, then for the extra deck, um, my personal card, favorite card of all time is, is this card. I just like the way it looks, to be honest. But, um, Xavier, your Bellum, I just, I, I would never take this card out. It's just my favorite card. So, one of him. He's also good for stacking your opponent's hand back onto the top of the deck, which you rarely use, but it can be helpful sometimes. Uh, and two copies of Ion Lie. Ion Lie is just great. You pop their opponent's back row. It's pretty good. Um, and then one Sousa to get over stuff. Um, one got him. So, that was your X Saber synchros. And then we run uh, one Beast, one Barkeon. Obviously, I have to run both. This shuts out the Necros matchup. This shuts out like the Toe Knight matchup. So, you know, one of each. Um, one Goyo. Uh, I, I, one Goyo is like fine enough. I cut the Vulcan the Divine because I wasn't really using it enough. So, Goyo is fine. Uh, Goyo will always be good. And then Scrap Dragon. And then my personal tech. Um, the extra deck is uh, Boxia, because Boxia you can rarely make, but you make it with Oasis of Dragon Souls, bring uh, Dark, Soul, um, Dark Soul back as a worm type, and it creates the worm uh, attribute thing type. So yeah, you make you make this. Uh, and then for the Xyz, you just run one Madolce X Saber Invoker, uh, you run one Extinction Knight, uh, one Photon Strike, and uh, this card's the broken card in the extra deck. Like being able to detach uh, Fultral, bring the Fultral back, special it again, activate it. Just it's almost like you, it gives it, this card like gives you a second turn in X Sabers. It's ridiculous in, in the same turn. Uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I'd like to say thanks to Joe Grizz and everyone on Team Avalanche for giving me the opportunity to post this on their channel, and I uh, hope you like my personal text in the stack. I've been testing this for quite a period of time, and I've enjoyed doing so. So, uh, for now, this is Hank Saber, signing off uh, from Saber Selections. Go check out my channel, guys. It's a really cool one, and uh, I'll see you later. Rocks.